we don't want you to confuse quantity of time that, you know, I think we did a little bit with quality of time. They're just not the same. And this may be especially true if you're married or in a relationship, spending a lot of time together in retirement. Whether you're interacting with friends, loved ones, a spouse or partner, there's an age old question that comes to mind. Is the quality of time you spend more or less important than the quantity of time you spend? Yeah, Jody, and this scenario becomes even more heightened during retirement for a few reasons. First, we have more time, right? And you probably have more time. And then secondly, we have the freedom to choose where and how we spend that time. And the last thing is, now is the time in retirement to actually start to deepen and widen those relationships that are most important to us. That's all great, Mark, but you didn't address the question. Uh, is it quality of time or quantity of time that really makes the difference? Or is it both? Well, we have eight more minutes to do that. So why don't we start by defining quality and quantity? Okay, let's start with quantity. The quantity of time refers to, obviously, the amount of time a person is physically present with their friend, loved one, or spouse. So physically present, that's kind of a critical word or words that might lead into the definition of quality of time. There you go. Okay. We definitely need to explore that physically present thing. With me or with us? Yes. So oh, you're looking at me. No, with us. Okay. With us. Okay. But let's move to quality of time. Quality of time refers to the standard or caliber of time that we spend with our friends, loved ones, or spouse. So quality really means are you focused, intentional, engaged, and are you are you that way throughout all your interactions? And I think that I don't think that. I know that the reason that we're doing this video and that we're talking about this is because we recently, having been retired for three years, are starting to, we started to realize that we are spending a tremendous amount of time tremendous. together. Tremendous. 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 24-7. <laughs> we work together. We travel together. We, we do videos together. We're building a business together. We cook together. It's a lot of together time in retirement. We have quality, no, nope. we have quantity <laughs> nailed, right? That's true. However, the quality of time together is not really what we were hoping for. Right. And I was feeling that our quality time that we were spending together was slipping because we really had quantity covered that we were becoming, and I'm going to say this together, together, mutually lazy. Mutually so there's no lazy. finger pointing. But you were lazier than me. Is that what you mean? I was lazier than you. No. I know. No, mutually know. lazy in the quality department. You're right. We were. And we, we woke up to that probably Monday for some reason. It just came to light. And that's why we're doing this. So this cycle that we had of, you know, quantity of time needed to break. And we needed to make sure we focused in on doing some quality time together. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Mark Rollins. And I'm Jody Rollins. And we started Retirement Transformed in 2017, not only for us, but for you and the other 10,000 people turning 65 every day. Now, we don't focus on the financial aspects of retirement, but rather lifestyle, health, relationships, and more. Don't forget to please hit the subscribe button below so you get notified when our videos come out. Now let's give you some reasons why quality of time is so important. And here are some things that resonated with us. One, the only way to bond strongly with our loved ones is by carving out time to be with them mindfully without distractions. I'm gonna say that part again, mindfully without distractions, which means no technology and no phones. Yes, why do you look at me? Well, oh, because you don't have a phone. You gave your phone up. I forgot. Jody got rid of her phone. Now, look, the second reason, <laughs> when you're being mindful of quality of time with someone, you're going to build lasting relationships. When we take the time out to be with people who mean so much to us, we're actually going to understand each other better, and that's going to make our relationship much stronger. And, you know, another thing is quality time really can create memories. Spending time with loved ones 
together creating sweet memories that will linger forever. Yeah, and it definitely helps with coping with challenges. You know, when we spend time with loved ones, we can help them feel lesser of whatever that's weighing them down by providing, you know, really great support. And you know, we know quality time really builds a great, better family bond. I know in our family, showing our six kids quality time and modeling that we can do that with each other gives them a lot of benefit as they're growing their own lives. And the last thing about quality time is it does help to build self-esteem. You know, when you spend dedicated, focused quality time with someone, it's going to give them a sense that they're important, they're meaningful to you, and it's actually going to help build their self-esteem. You know, honestly, I think I'm very good at doing this for all six of our kids. You are. No, without a doubt. And, you crush it every day. And with my closest friends. But where I really fall down and what's really hit us this week is I fall down in our relationship. And I think it's because the quantity factor was overshadowing the need or the feeling that I needed to have to really put the effort into quality. And that's really dangerous thinking. And I appreciate you saying that. And we did talk about that Monday and I felt the same way. Jody has this great saying when people say, I have so many balls in the air. She says it to her kids. Now there are balls that bounce like rubber balls and there's the glass balls. And we talked about this and said, you know, you never want to drop the glass ball because that's the one that breaks. But as I said on Monday, I think our glass balls are a little, they're not shattered for sure, but they might have little cracks in them. Yeah, and we that's... really started taking the quantity of time we were spending together and just forgetting about the quality. Right. But we came up with some simple ways to make sure that you're spending good quality time. Now, everyone has their own way of turning off and turning out the stressors of daily life. Um, and these are the ones that we feel are going to work best for us. So the first one is organizing specific activities. Now for us, it's dinner alone. You know, a big thing would be organizing a family vacation or a special birthday event or even going kayaking or bicycling or something together where it's special dedicated time. And I can think off the top of my head, four or five things I've done in the past week that was organizing special events for the kids, for my friends, for, you know, relatives, but really not for you. Really? Yeah. What are you going to do? That hurts my heart. So I'm Does gonna, it? I'm going to do something about that. What are you going to do? I'm committing to the, this. Well, tell everyone. Well, I'm not, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to, all right, well then stay tuned. There's a big surprise coming up. The second, thank you, sweetie. The second thing is to plan ahead. You know, you know, Mark mentioned, you know, planning an event. But, you know, unfortunately, planning is sometimes the very unsexy part of quality time. Well, plus it's difficult many it times, is. right? It is. It is. But you do have to understand just how far in advance you need to plan things with certain people. You know, I have friends that live close by who I can drop in, text them that day. We can find something to do quick. And I have other friends and even your schedule sometimes. Oh. I've got to get on, you know, three or four weeks in advance. Well, but how are you going to do something this week if you need three or four weeks in advance? We're gonna, clear, we already got a problem. I'm going to clear your calendar. <laughs> well, the thing is, some people also are not planners, so we right. run into that. Particularly with our kids. Some of them don't really want to plan that far in advance. That's true. But the third thing is technology. We're all guilty of it. We all have a cell phone. We have it on our person at all times. And we're waiting for the next text or email instead of being in the moment and being with the person and sitting in front of you. And the other thing that I know we do, we're having a chat in the morning, having our coffee, and we come up with an idea, we both jump into our phone, we both Google the idea, we both start researching, and right. we should stop that. We should stop that. How about we, that? We have a pact, stop that, come okay. on. But I Done. think what we should do is keep those ideas flowing because we're both morning people. Right. So maybe we have just a piece of paper That's in the a kitchen. That's idea, with a pen. With a pen, and we can write down our fantastic retirement No more transform. phones during our coffee. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, the fourth thing is to really communicate. Really listen to each other's needs. You know, we talk a lot about active listening, asking more questions, responding, not reacting, and making sure you think before you speak. That's good. I let, we talk about that a lot. The other thing you can do to enhance your quality time is use words of affirmation. When you're planning to get together with someone on some kind of event, 
send them a few texts, send them a few reminders that you're really looking forward to getting together again. And then when it's over, send some texts as well saying what a great time it was to reinforce it. Yeah, funny story. I have a friend that did that. We were going to go to a concert, actually the Coldplay concert in, oh, yeah. in uh, New Jersey. And she texted me. She sent me, told me what stations to listen to, all this stuff. You bought a t-shirt? Bought a t-shirt. I was ready. We got down there. She had the tickets for the wrong night. So yeah. my follow-up to her, which I always do, is to text something really yeah. nice <laughs> and say how much I really did appreciate all the effort she put into it, but she had the wrong date. Now, I hope this was helpful. We don't want you to confuse quantity of time that, you know, I think we did a little bit with quality of time. They're just not the same. And this may be especially true if you're married or in a relationship, spending a lot of time together in retirement. Make an effort to be present or as present as possible when you're with the people you care about and be grateful for that time by thanking them. Now, if you enjoyed this, please share it with your friends and please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. And finally, please join our free Facebook community. The link's in the notes below. Thanks for listening and we look forward to being with you again.